My name is Ike Pulver. I'm the director of the Saratoga Springs Public Library, and I'm here to tell you about three of my favorite books of 2015, each of which happens to be a finalist for the American Library Association's Carnegie Medal for Excellence in Nonfiction. The first is H is for Hawk, a biography by uh, Alan MacDonald, who is a poet and historian, and it's a memoir of overcoming uh, the death of her beloved father by deciding to adopt and hand raise a goshawk named Mabel. It's perhaps the most unusual book you've ever read. It's a combination of elegy for the death of a loved one, a natural history of hawks and falconry, and a literary biography of the author T.H. White, who you might know as the author of The Once and Future King, a really unusual and terrific uh, memoir. Next is Hold Still by Sally Mann, a memoir with photographs. Sally Mann may be best known, perhaps undeservedly, for the controversy around some of her photographs uh, she made of her children in the nude. Uh, but this is really a terrific and entertaining biography or memoir of a, uh, with insight into the art world, insight into uh, the artistic mind, and a really colorful and eccentric Southern family, a beautiful book which would make a great gift for the art lover in your life. And finally, The Invention of Nature, Alexander von Humboldt's New World by Andrea Wolfe, which is a biography of Alexander von Humboldt, who was a 19th century scientist and explorer who, at the time, uh, was maybe the second most famous person in the world behind Napoleon, who today in the United States is largely forgotten. Uh, but who really created the idea of the web of life and nature. And it's a really terrific biography uh, and story of his expedition throughout South America and then his writing afterwards. And he uh, was really the first person to write about nature from a truly scientific point of view, but through the lens of a uh, of, uh, poetic writing. So really a beautiful book, a great uh, gift for the nature lover in your life or the person who loves reading about science and about adventure. Um, so all in all, these would be three terrific books and we wish you very happy seasons readings.